What's up, everybody? Welcome back. I'll be your host on the internet. We're going to do another cube draft. What up, Spencer? Oh, that was... Oh, yeah, that's right now. Why'd you say lol dang? Come on, let's see it. You love to see the ancestral. Looking right at you. Soul ring down here. Uh, wrong on both counts. Mox Diamond's okay. <clears throat> Yeah, I think Mox Diamond's probably the better card in this pack. Him to Torox good. I like Baleful Strix. Fiery Confluence is legit. I thought you were going to die right in front of us. So you're upset that I didn't, is what you're saying? Ooh, interesting. Demir Signet Thran Dynamo. Okay. Okay. Well... I think we're going to Thran Dynamo here. Also Kiki Jiki, which I'm just tired of. I think we're going to Thran Dynamo and see what happens. Once you go brown, you'll never go down. I like Mind Slaver here. If we're going if we're going true brown, I'm going to Mind Slaver, bro. Third pick Mind Slaver, it's risky. The only other artifact was, was a Jitte, so it wasn't really a contest in that regard. Well, if you're going brown, <clears throat> you got to take this guy, right? Put him in the pile. Okay. Steam Vents or Tundra would be our picks here. I think we're more likely to be red than white. Hmm. I'm going to take Steam Vents. Yeah, yeah, right. You definitely have more um, artifact synergies. It also leaves something like through the Breach or Sneak Attack if we happen to get Eldrazi, which are also fine in the uh, artifact deck. Got to ramp to something. Five cards in. I think this is good. I just hope the artifacts don't really dry up. It's going to be... Is it Signet of the next pack, though? So that's pretty good. A Gilded Lotus. Okay. I'll take a Gilded Lotus. There's a lot of mana we're making. I hope we can... I hope it pays off. <clears throat> Got the Adam Stanley song stuck in my head? What is that about? Wow, this pack is literally not a single blue or red card. That is tragic. I'll just take Mana Tithe in case we do end up white. That's it's pretty rough. I actually love cereal as a dessert. I'm a big fan. Top five favorite cereals. <clears throat> I think number one is Lucky Charm. Or not Lucky Charms. Wow. Um, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. 
then there's also <clears throat> a cereal called Marshmallow Mateys. It's one of the bag cereals. And Marshmallow Mateys is basically just Lucky Charms. However, Academy Ruins is pretty good for our deck. Um, however, not only is it just Lucky Charms, they have chocolate Marshmallow Mateys. And the chocolate Marshmallow Mateys is basically Cocoa Puffs with marshmallows, and it's actually one of my favorite cereals. It's pretty delicious. I actually don't think I could have... I could name five cereals, though. Thank you! Mr. Momo, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back, my dude. Oh, Colossa Forge Master. <clears throat> That's pretty good. I mean, this is literally seven relevant picks for our deck. Kind of eight if you do include the Steam Vents. Are we a Tangle Wire deck? We kind of have to be, right? That's insane. Fire Ice, sure. I'll take a Fire Ice. <clears throat> we could be a Burning deck. Let's take Burning of Zinni, actually. I do love I do love Mini Wheats. <clears throat> Not as big of a fan of you got a lot of corn cereals there, Christopher. You can blame it all on me. I was wrong. Sure. Nor Yorion. Okay, I'll take a Yorion. All right, all right. I'm playing your standard decks on Arena, and I'm all the way to Platinum. No way! That's amazing! Love it. Absolutely love it. Do you take a library here? Also, Autumn Wings, long time no see, buddy. I'm going to take library. I think it's good. It's also colorless, so it doesn't affect our mana base too much. Karn seems pretty good. I like Walking Bullet. <laughs> Do we take Walking Bullet and I hope Karn tables? I think that was the Super Fritz Blue Black Control deck, which I, I, I did actually have a great time playing it, and I thought it was pretty solid. Karn seems really good because we're going to be making sizable constructs. I think it's I think it's Karn here. Like we can just hope Karn tables, but I'd rather I think Karn is probably better for us than Walking Ballista here. <clears throat> Chrome Mox. Interesting. I think we just want... Oh, Tinker? Oh, boy. On color Signet or Tinker? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's gotta be Tinker. Tinker's like the perfect card for our deck. <clears throat> I 
don't know if this is an opposition deck. Or a blast zone deck. Could just take a looter. Hmm. Yeah, we're just fine. I guess commit to memory is reasonable. Sure. Oh, Ancient Tomb? For sure. I'd love to take Control Magic, but Ancient Tomb is where you want to be. Especially in the brown deck. <clears throat> Everflowing Chalice? Yep. Okay. Easy. Oh, Riffwing? Yeah, alright. This is looking good. We just need some payoffs. Like, we haven't seen any Eldrazi. We haven't seen Blightsteel. <clears throat> Revoker came back. <coughs> it's just fine. I'll just take a Revoker. I mean... I would like, in my next pack, I would like... Blightsteel, Inkwell, Metalworker. I think that's it. Ancestral Recall. <laughs> Uh, this pack's not exciting at all. <clears throat> yeah, I will definitely take any Eldrazi, but I'm, I'm mostly focused on the Tinker cards. Hmm. It's not Lion's Eye Diamond here. I'll just take Seagate Stormcaller in case we get something decent. <clears throat> Oh, Blast Zone's fine. Sure. Take a Blast Zone. Red and Six is a little tricky to build around. Also, I don't think Green Red is super um, popular in this cube. No, Nick, those. Okay. Last big brain freeze. <clears throat> Alright, so any of the things we asked for? No. No no blight steel, no uh <clears throat> no other dude. Ponder's decent. Basalt monolith is fine. Yeah, I think those are our two options here. I think I like Ponder a little better, especially because it makes Seagate Stormcaller a, a card we can play. Ooh, Treachery. I do like a Treachery. Yeah, we're definitely taking Treachery. <laughs> treachery gives us some much-needed ways to deal with creatures. Um, nothing else in here is super compelling. Deceiver Exarch still gives us an out to, like, Splinter Twin, which is kind of funny. Um, Goblin Welder is cool, but, like, we don't, even, we don't have much to Goblin Welder right now. Yeah, I think I'd rather just have the... Oh, alright. Here's an Ulamog. Yeah, that's a pretty easy pick. Um... All I know is what was good in Standard. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's take Ulamog. And... Um, this pack is not great. I could just take Sower. I actually kind of like Sower here. Oh, 
There's a metal worker. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Well, that's, that'll do. PS5 has been great so far. <clears throat> Nothing good in this pack, and that's unfortunate. Yeah, I think we're running out of <clears throat> running out of gas here, guys. <coughs> Is Yorian any good in our deck? I don't think so. Field of Ruin, Maze of Ith. Could just take Abbot. Don't really have a way to splash here. Maze not tapping for mana is pretty obnoxious. I think I'd rather just take Field of Ruin. Emery. I mean, despite being an artifact deck, we're not a memory jar deck. I think it's just Emery here. That seems good. Hangerback came back? Sure. I'll take a Hangerback. Well, this is an interesting development. It's really, it's really sad because we have Tinker and Forge Master, but nothing to really get. <clears throat> Other than like Mind Slaver. Like we didn't see Blightsteel or Inkwell, and that's those are like the premier creatures to get. It's like a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 artifacts. I don't know, this deck could be a huge failure, so we're going to keep our fingers crossed. Also, to see Rex start is kind of trash, so I'd probably rather play like Flame Tongue Kavu. I don't even know if I like Burning here, to be quite honest, but. <coughs> Welder is actually a pretty sweet pickup. Actually, so is Expansion. Let's take... I actually like Expansion Explosion a little better here. We have Emery already, which you don't need... Yeah, let's... This is actually pretty good. That's also a sweet mana sink. Oh, Gaia's Cradle came back. That's pretty cool. No, I'm just kidding. That's terrible. I'll take Duretti. Can't believe we hit no Signets. We hit one is it Signet, and I don't think we've seen a single Signet. This is pretty rough. Like, it's a really weird... Brown Town deck... Oblivion Stone. Mana Flare. Now let's take was did we was there an Azorius signet? I don't even remember that. Look at our look at our mono brown lands. We got Library, Field, Blast Zone, Ancient Tomb, Ancient Academy Ruins. We're gonna play three of these. I don't think we're playing Blast Zone or Field of Ruin. <clears throat> oh, I also wasn't sure about burning. Like the problem with burning is that it kills our sower, it kills our golem, it kills our metal worker. It kills our it kills everything of ours is really the problem. Inspiring vantage. <clears throat> I mean, cradle just taps for colorless if you have like a bunch of creatures. So I 
wonder if Pyromancer's good here. What do we have? We have one, two, three spells. That's pretty good. I think it's probably just Flame Tongue Kavu. That's our... This doesn't actually hit anything, really. Hit Riftwing or Sower if we want to reset them. Tinker's okay. Like, we could sacrifice an Everflowing Chalice or for, like, a Mind Slaver or, or a Forge Master. But then Forge Master's just going to get Mind Slaver anyway, so it's kind of like... I don't even know if I like... It's weird to not like Tinker in your... <clears throat> your artifact deck. Oh, well. I still believe in us. No white. What is the white for? What do we... Spirit of the Labyrinth? What are you doing in here? Uh -huh. Well, we're missing playables as it is, so I can't imagine us going to 20 cards for this deck. Sort by color. Yeah, okay. Um, so 10, 11, 12, 13, 17... I do like 8-5, because we do need double red for this. I guess we can go to 4, 9. That seems fine. <clears throat> this deck is... I don't have high hopes for this. I feel like we're dirtling way too much without any any great payoffs. Like, I think we were lucky to get this Ulamog. <laughs> but Ulamog could just win. He's also indestructible with Annihilator 4, so... Also, we can Mind Slaver lock them, so... What do you need, 11 mana for that, right? No, I think you need like 13 mana. What up, Sammy? Good seeing you, my dude. Hmm. Well, I have hope <clears throat> that we can hit something. So I'm going to keep it. Oh, wow. Mirror match. Mono brown mirror match, guys. You two. Hmm. I like it. <clears throat> turn two chalice into turn three dynamo or Karn. Could be good. I seem to be lagging. Oh, what can you do? Cast with multi-kicker of one. Okay. Done. Did you see it's pretty impossible to cast a Chalices for zero? Chalice? Casting Chalice for Zero was never really a problem for me. I, I definitely understand why it was a problem for some people. It was definitely a, a card that was hard to, like... Like, it was it was easy to get tricked by it. But I, was, I feel like I was always pretty vigilant about it. And I always made sure to cast it with Multi-Kicker, so... Imperial Seal, sure. <coughs> we gonna Uh, 
I don't know what they could have next turn. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Gilded Lotus is in our hand. We just get Mind Slaver? Or do we just continue with the turn down? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we could play seven, use five of it to play Lotus, then play Treachery on tap. Ain't you glad Cusack? I am, but I'm pretty sure it leaves Wednesday this week, right? Like, I would love for it to be longer. Oh man, Tinker. If only we, like, it's so, it's so depressing that we don't have a big payoff here. Whatever. Dynamo. Okay. Just gonna pass here. We could have played Karn, but I, I think the ramping is more important right now. What's the point of Tinker if you got no big payoff? Utility. I mean, you can still get a versatile card. You can still get, like, a... <clears throat> Forge Master, you can we don't have we don't have Mer Battle Sphere, unfortunately. Jeez. You think they search for that island? They're like, I'm gonna get this island with my Imperial Seal. Oh, I would love if they were brain freezing. It's like, oh yeah. That's like that's like you're living the dream when they brain freeze and you have an Eldrazi in your deck. They didn't do anything. Hmm. Hmm. Here I'm going to play Karn and keep up Commit to Memory because it seems like they didn't do anything but they did get a card. So, Cryptic Command maybe? Oh, nothing at all. Interesting. Do we just make a 3-3? Three, three? Hmm. I mean, they have they have red up, and I'm kind of reluctant to put Karn to two or three, rather. Whatever, it's a three-three. Sure. I definitely don't think we're gonna play as if there's storm right now. I don't think we're in a position to do that yet. But I think just putting a three-three out is just fine still. I personally think people are way too quick to just assume a deck is Storm because they're Grixis. And they played one, like... They'll play one card that's actually probably fine in other archetypes. Chupacabra. That's fine. <clears throat> that was a good hit. Well, wow. like that. Let's reveal <coughs> Mind Slaver or Mox Diamond. Joke's on you. The Mox Diamond is terrible for us. They give us Mind Slaver over Mox Diamond. That's interesting. Three, four, five, six. I kind of like. I don't know if it's a Gilded Lotus or if I. I think we definitely just cast Flame Tongue here. I mean, if they bribery us, we just either get to treachery the creature they bribery, or we get to commit to memory it back into our deck. Neither of which is terrible. Eight mana. Lotus next turn will have nine. Plus two, which is eleven. I don't know why I said nine there.
Ever flunk Jowl's baby car and artifact heavy? You're not trying to play Colas Control again unconsciously? Subconsciously is what you mean. And no, I'm not positive. That's your lesson for the day, guys. Sometimes people get subconsciously and unconsciously confused. Subconsciously means it's happening like below your conscious mind. It's it's in your head, but you're not like doing it deliberately. Unconsciously means you're not even you're not even conscious. You're literally passed out. Toxic disher. Sure. <laughs> That's fine. <clears throat> Oh, uh, we could have cast Lotus first, but they had two mana up, so I chose not to. Because I'd rather keep up Commit to Memory than not Commit to Memory. That's interesting. They have one card in hand? Yeah, this is not Storm, guys. <laughs> That's for all you Storm aficionados out there. Let's go two deep? The second from the top, okay. So now we're going to... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... We can actually go Lotus into Mind Slaver. Alright, alright. So... So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Gilded Lotus. I absolutely dumbed it up and mixed it. No, it's super common. People do that all the time. It's very, very common. <clears throat> I kind of feel like we just make a guy here. Because it's, it's like a 6-6. Six, six. It's a 5-5. Five, five. It's a 5-5. Five, five. This cube has no bolus? This is what I'm saying, dude. I mean, our Tinker targets are mostly like Mind Slaver, Kaldatha Forge Master, or like... I don't know. We can get a Hangerback Walker. That's kind of cool. What else we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We got 12 mana right now? But sub-unconsciously must have thought of the wrong one. Buddy, I know that feeling. My sub-unconscious is the worst. So we, we they get one draw here. Oh, they just drew Dark Slick Shores. Academy Ruins. Oh, that's pretty nice, though. We just kill them. I think they're just dead. We have two six sixes. We de we attack for six. We take their turn. We attack for five. We know they're drawing Wheel of Fortune. Unless their last card is a removal spell that they've just been slow rolling. Which, even then, we have Explosion Expansion for it. That's pretty nuts, right? Like, we can Explosion Expansion for, like, 8? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12? Yeah, we can Explosion Expansion for 8. That's pretty wild. Oh, they just conceded. <laughs> They're like, oh, you're going to steal my turn and then attack me for 10. Sounds good. Well, we've drawn. I'll never know. Man. Our deck's unbeatable. <clears throat> Pyroclasm doesn't seem great against them. What did we see? We saw, like, nothing, right? We saw, like, Wheel of Fortune, Ravenous Chupacabra, Toxic Deluge. Sabin Consciousness is when you think like a Power Ranger. Bandai Consciousness is when you think like Ultraman.
I don't know what's going on. What's the hold up? They're switching over to Storm. He's like, dang it, I had a Storm deck and now it's gone. Oh, uh, this seems f slow, but fine. See, chicken, chicken salad knows what's up. Keep it. Oh, wow. Oh, they get to take Hanger back. That's unfortunate. I was like, oh, I thought they whiffed. They did not whiff. Oh. 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 That's exciting. I have an excite. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> it was not terrible. Boy, oh boy. Go up to seven. Draw a card. Oh, yeah, it's going to be good. Interesting. Would you look at that? Would you look at that?
Alright, they got rift wing clouds. Get over here. OP sinkhole. There ain't no sinkhole, Bredicus. Sinkhole was one of my favorite cards back in the day. I don't know why. When I was first trying to collect like older magic cards, and I was like, "Ooh, this this card's great." It just had this like really elegant feel to it. It's really hard to explain. Just black, black to destroy land. Yeah, kind of like him. Right, exactly. What's this? What's happening right now? Walking Ballista for two? They have two cards in hand? Oof. I feel like we're doing a... Draw. Land? do 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 a three-hour tour. Lodestone Golem is coming down. Library has already drawn us like three cards, which is pretty ridiculous. More like Library of Alexandria. I think you might be right. That sounds correct. Not a single luxury. I mean, they could pump this guy and shoot, and that's totally fine. Yeah, that's fine with me. So next time we can go land, draw, Karn. That seems good. They do get to... Oh, they get to bounce a thing, though. Oh, okay. Okay. Land, draw. Oh, that's even better. Kind of. I think we actually Karn make a guy and then, like, they can attack it to one, but they get to keep the we get to keep the Karn on board. Yeah, let's play Karn and make a guy. Because I'd like to, I'd rather put two permanents on the board that they have to deal with than than just having one. So if they want to bounce this and attack Karn, then Karn survives. Oh, they just bounced library. Got any Thanksgiving plans? No, because COVID is a thing. I mean, we're literally just eating here. Me, Mike, and Katie are just going to have uh, Thanksgiving here. Make some foods. Una's Prowler and a Riftwing Cloud Skate. So you do have plans. Dang it. Blast. Yep, I figured they'd hit the car in there. So now we get to go land Dynamo Flame Tongue. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Let's see what happens here. Deadly Ariok, thank you so much for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Good times. 
Good times. Eh, what did what did I not get? Ancient tomb. Fascinating. Now we're play library. One, two, three, four. Dynamo. Thank you. Oh my god, Brett with the five gifted subs. You are the hero I need. Brett single-handedly buys me so many dinners every month. Thank it's wonderful. You. Uh, I'm gonna kill this guy because I can easily discard a card here and keep out keep Karn alive. We have seven cards, Thank you. so we discard one. We still draw one, go up to seven. We still have library online. I will thank attack. you, Brett. Thank you so much, buddy. I I consistently appreciate your support, my dude. Thank you. Not, what do you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're almost, we're not terribly far from this. They have five cards in hand. That Knight's Whisper really helped them out a little bit. Not a single look. Why do I have the Gilligan's Island song stuck in my head? Dude, the this, this shit I get stuck in my head is so random. It's a pretty easy pitch. Karn stays alive. To fight another day. I have nine mana next turn. It's a lot. Oh, their own Thren Dynamo. Can I steal that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we can't slaver now. Nor do I think we need to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine this turn. We can actually get this next turn with Karn. And also uh, play Ulamog. So we have eight mana. Could just play Looter and Sower. Well, let's see what they give us here at least. Followed you on YouTube for a long time. Your stream makes me feel like not giving up on everything. Just trying to get the next poop story about Michael B. and his stomach. That's all you can really ask for, you know? That's all you can really ask for. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, Michael B. How are you real? That's my question. Yeah, so next turn we have the option of either uh, mind slavering or Ulamogging. I mean, I do have concerns of uh, Wheel of Fortune happening. Oh, we were just playing the old Ulamog down at the park. It sounds like uh, it's like a hacky sack type game, I imagine. This is seven mana. This is a lot. Don't like that. No, 
Don't like that. Negative four? That would actually be pretty okay. I would be very okay with that, actually. Negative four. Negative four. Oh, wow, they did negative four. Wow, that's actually great for us. So we play Slaver. Draw. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten with Ancient Tomb. Uh, you can't Ugin kill himself, unfortunately, because he goes up to five. I guess we can negative three him. So, yeah. I mean, we can also just attack Ugin. But, you know, here's the thing. Oh, if we go Slaver next turn, we can Ancient. We can. Oh my god, this seems nuts, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we can still get to draw a card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that greedy? No. It's correct. Like we have nothing that's gonna die to to Ugin here. Or to uh so yeah, we might as well we might as well attack their face to get the extra three in. Put them to six. Oh, we can actually lightning bolt them, their face with Ugin. And then <laughs> and then attack them for the final three. Oh boy. That's wild. Forcible and wait, why didn't they Wait, what? Why didn't they force it? They didn't have Snapcaster Forcible in hand? I don't understand. No. I'm on upkeep. I'm not in their turn yet. I am on upkeep. We never went to their draw step. There were two cards in their hand when they conceded. Oh boy. Mox Diamond, one land, huh? That's a mulligan. That's a keep. I'm going to ship Gilded Lotus here. I think Treachery has a larger impact on the game. Weird stuff happening here. It's so weird that it gets dark outside at like 4.30. Dude, the west is weird. Ring my bell. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Okay. I was talking about that yesterday while playing Dead by Daylight. It was 8 p.m. and it felt like 11.30. Dude, I remember being in Seattle and it would be like 3.30 and it'd be pitch black and I'm like, well, guess I missed my sunlight today. <laughs> and that'd be so weird because there's so many days where you could just go without seeing sunlight. And it was like, oh, this is weird. I don't know, man. When I was in Florida, it never got, it got dark at like 6.37. It was never like 4 o'clock. What did they get? Mox Jet. I can just turn off their Mox Jet. I kind of like that. Is 
They also didn't play it, which means they got big plans. Yeah, that's the worst thing about working 9 to 5 in the fall. You like you get home and you're like, well, I guess it's gone. Are you not in Florida? I haven't been in Florida for 11 months now, no. I missed your sponsor earlier because my son. Are you interested in another round of modern? I literally... <laughs> if so, has your PayPal changed from two years ago? It has not changed, I assume. Um... But yeah, I mean, if you yeah, if you wanted to definitely, if you wanted to do a, a a deck donation, I would definitely do it. That for sure. Hmm. Can I steal this? I don't think so. I would also be willing to try it out in in historic. On on MTG Arena. Less than six hours of daylight? Jesus. Like, the sun comes up at, like, 11, and they're like, well, it's gone by 5. We're probably, probably close to, like, 9 to 3. Get rid of this thing. Oh, man. You old stinker. Get in there for seven. Land would have been good there. Guess we'll just play old Looty Tooty. I'll trade you for Iowa where our sun starts setting with an orange sky at three. <laughs> You're like, well, guess it's nighttime now. Have you streamed Calder's or Master? No, not no. I, I, I find it very hard to play normal regular drafts when the vintage cube is up. Like I just if I'm gonna spend my time doing a draft, uh, it's gonna be a vintage cube draft and not a Calder's draft. Like I Calvish is just a, still a regular format, so it's still not super exciting to me, especially because they did a ton of Calder's drafts. Back in the day. Man, another Imperial Seal? I guess they're I guess they're storm, guys. Just kidding, that was a little storm throwback because you guys were talking about talking about storm. If we get to steal this guy, we can deal five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's pretty good. They go to one. Three colorless. Is this just going to be uh, Everflowing Chalice for one? Sure. Well, it's not a land. Which is unfortunate. But we could try to hit a land. But that doesn't make our attack any better, unfortunately. You got it. Oof. Oof. Big oof. That can go. Alright. It's just Mind Desire for two? What is happening right now? They played Mox Jet. And Lotus Petal. Are they just tendrilsing us for three? This is weird. It's an X spell. Oh. Oh, it's Big Grizz. Big old Grizz. Three, four, five, six. Okay. Draw seven. All right. 
They're at one. All right, that'll do. <laughs> that. Oh man, Gristlebrand. Thankfully, we have treachery and sower. How do we lose? Oh, uh, I actually like this hand. Ponder can find us several things that are good. And then we still have m multiple two drops. Treachery stole my gristle, Dad! It's true. I went to six. We're looking for a library here. Oh, and we found it? We go to eight, and then we play library, and then we just get to start rolling it. Okie dokie. Oogie dookie, artichokey. Mm-hmm. 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 Give me that card. You cheated on me? When I specifically asked you not to? Tendrils is an interesting one. Let's draw a card. Alright, so we're going to play a three drop here. Is it an Emery? Could also just play... Could also just play Lodestone Golem. I kind of like that, actually. I think it's lodestone here like just being able to shut their mana down seems good memory jar wild um you can have a jace so we know you have these two in exile this is your hand Metalworker seems juicy. So I think we need Memory Jar here, actually.
Oh wow, we could Gilded Lotus, Mox Diamond, and Forge Master? Thank you. It's actually pretty solid. Okay, so we shut down their Memory Jar and their Karn. And if they want to play either of these, they each cost three. Spencer! Thank you for the resub, my dude. Wow. Are we 2-0 with this deck that has no gas whatsoever? Oh my god. Remember the time I was like, I don't think we're going to win any matches. You know what? The mono blue-brown deck always ends up doing really well, and I don't understand why. I guess Lodestone Golem is a, a fine gentleman. I'm going to plug my PlayStation controller in because it's just sitting up here on the desk anyway, so I might as well charge it, right? It's the first of the month. Wake up, wake up, wake up. <coughs> is PlayStation like that too? You got to be connected to Wi-Fi to play any game? I actually don't know. I mean, I am. It's very un like my computer being my my PlayStation not being connected to Wi-Fi at any point is very unlikely. And colorless is the best non-color. That's a good point. I had not considered that. Oh, this hand is unexciting, but you know what? It's okay. Library is a great draw. Mox Diamond is a great draw. Arbor Elf is a great draw. Pyroclasm is going to be a great card to bring in. I feel like it's looter here. I feel like all these other artifacts get better over time. Plus we have a lot of lands we can discard into better cards. Although looter does have the highest chance of getting shot. And there you go. Look at this, look at this guy. This guy's gonna make short work of us, I'm sure. Oh, that's a guy. Okay, let's let's hope we get one more turn. Because then we might be doing some doing some work. What is it, six? So we got four mana. Five, six, seven, eight. We have ten mana next turn. We got into nine if we dynamo. Don't kill my metal worker, bro. Come on. Just don't. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Regrowth for lightning bolt. Yay! Okay, you got it. Dun, 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 dun. 
They have two cards in hand. We really just have to get around this guy. I think we can take four more. I think we dynamo here. Chalice for two. All right, next turn we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have ten mana, so we can make a five, five. If they do have a way to kill this hanger back walker, though, it's not great for us. Alternatively, if they want to go sacrifice Arbor Elf for Crater Hoof, attack us for 13, that's not good either. See, that's fine. Man, where's Wildfire when you need it? It's in this. I'm probably going to bring it in this match. I'm definitely bringing in Pyroclasm at least. Yep. Seems fine. Oh, hello, my boys. All right, so we can go one, two, three, four, five. Then we'll have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can make a four, four. Is that better? I'm making a five, five. It also gives us a lot of mana for, like, Ulamog next turn. It gives us Ulamog mana next turn, which I think is important. Three, four, five. Done. All right. Hi, sir. Oh, oh okay. Little Wallace Ray came to visit us. Where you go? I see you. Yep, seems good. Cool. Alright, I'll put you down. Go visit your friend. Yep. Ah. <sighs> I like burning, but like it just kills so many of our creatures too. <coughs> like literally all of them except for Forge Master and Ulamog. I think this is fine. A lot of four drops. I think it's okay. I do wonder what I would have drawn last game had we survived one turn. Either way, if you guys are watching anywhere, definitely check out manatraders.com. Link and promo code are down below for 15% off the first three months of any subscription. They are an awesome service. Everyone who has used them has loved them. Uh, you've 
they're a great deal if you're looking to test modern or standard pioneer anything on magic online it is a subscription service you don't have to buy every card for every deck you can just borrow the cards you need play them when you want can you guys relax oh my goodness gracious there's Ren and Six over here. It's also a great way to support the channel. Manatraders.com Oh, good, you're gonna, gonna probe me. That's unfortunate, because now you know not to play Questing Beast, I guess. Her hand feels decent here. Are you guys playing or fighting? What's going on? What are you doing, you little rascal? Oh my god. You kids. Sure. What are you doing? Are you guys playing? Oh my god, you guys are adorable. <laughs> Go get him. Get him. Oh my god, I can't handle these two. What's the hold up here? Man, this is where a pyroclasm would shine. What are you doing? Party on the town. This seems like an easy choice here. I don't love it, but it means they it forces them to play something. If they play Questing Beast, we can just block it. It's fine. We still have treachery to eat it. They're just gonna sneak attack Inferno Titan? I mean, it's a lot of damage, but like, it's not that big of a deal. That's weird. So this is a weird play. I guess they can regrowth it. <laughs> sure. Um, I think our odds of hitting a land here are a hundred percent, right? So, okay, they were not. <laughs> uh, that's kind of funny. All right, we're just gonna pass here because we did not hit a land. That's unfortunate. Wow, looked at four cards. That'll do. All right. Fun times. Fun times. There's nothing we could have done about this anyway. We could commit. We can't commit this guy. We can't. We can commit this and hope we don't die. But like being at ten, we're just dead. So thank you guys for watching. I knew it was too good to be true with this deck, but uh, we'll see you next time. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to follow or subscribe on both Twitch 
or YouTube. They help out a ton. And I'll see you later, guys. Thanks for watching.